Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Pop's Workshop. I've got some more exciting news for you. Recently, my grandson has asked if he could learn to do the CNC machine. Well, I had him over to the shop. I showed him just a few basic things. I gave him a CNC machine. I set him up with the software and he had designed his first project and it looks absolutely great. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how he designed it. We're going to cut it out on the CNC machine and show you just how great this simple project is. This is the very first project that my grandson has designed and cut out using the VCAR Pro software. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how he did it. Candle uh, project here real quick so that you can see how to do it. So we're going to set this up as a single-sided uh, object. We're going to do 12 inches by 12 inches. We'll set this at three quarters of an inch. We will use the inches. The zero position will be on the surface of the material and we'll use the bottom left hand corner. Everything else will be fine. So the first thing that I want to be able to do is set up the uh, polygon. And I want to be able to have this as six sided we're going to make this 1.7 inches with the size at 1.7 inches. And that has worked really, really well for this project. And I'm going to slide that right up into this area. I'm going to hit Control C and Control V to be able to duplicate it. We'll slide another one over there and we'll hit uh, v to be able to duplicate that one more time and I'll put the third one right in this area. Now does this need to be exactly centered? No, it really doesn't. But if you want to slide it over a little bit and hit the center, you can do that. Now I'm going to take all three of these and just hit Control C and Control V and we'll just duplicate the whole entire row. And we'll slide that up and we'll keep it in the center. If you want to use this extra space up here for additional ones, you certainly can do that. The next thing I want to do is put the hole here for the tea candle. So I'm going to grab my circle and I'm going to set this at 1.6 inches for a diameter. And that is the size of these uh, tea candles. I'll grab that, place it right up there, let it snap to the center, and hit Control C, Control V. We'll slide it over, let it again snap, because I have my snaps on up here at the top. And I'll hit Control V one more time. Slide that over there, again let it snap into position. And that's it. My tea candles are done. Now. To set up the tool paths, we'll go over here. I want to be able to highlight my three holes. Hold down the shift key. I want to come up here to the pocket tool path. I am going to be starting at the surface. We're going to go down a half an inch. I'm going to use a quarter inch end mill. And I'm going to edit the passes down to three passes which is plenty for my machine. And everything else will look good. You can change the name to anything that you want. But for now, I'll just hit Calculate. We'll reset. We'll preview the selected tool paths. And there you go. That's all there is to that. Now let's go back and highlight all of these other items. We'll get everything in there. There we go. We'll close this. We'll set this up on now the profile tool path. Again, we're going to start at the zero cut depth. I said my material was three quarters of an inch thick. I do have a waste board on. I want to go just a little bit thicker just to make sure it goes all the way through. Again, I'm using a quarter inch uh, end mill to cut this out. Yes, I'm cutting this on the outside and everything else is going to be fine. Again, I can change the name, but for now, I'm just gonna hit calculate. Yes, you get this message. I know it's gonna cut all the way through. 
And now we can preview um, all the tool paths. And we can look at that. And that's the tea candles. Not difficult to be able to create this. And it's a fun, easy project to be able to do. And guys, this is something that you can use in your own home or you can sell these. And I've seen them on the different sites from anywhere from $15 to $30 for a set of these. Okay, there you go. I've shown you exactly how to design these very simple tea candle holders. Now this file that I'm running is the actual file that my grandson had done. And again, this is the first CNC file that he has designed and saved in the VCAR Pro. And I'm cutting them out onto the uh, CNC machine. Now I'm real excited because he is learning the CNC machine and the VCAR Pro faster than what I had ever imagined. And quite frankly, he is learning it much quicker than what I did when I first started learning the CNC and the software. But you can see how this is cutting exactly the way that it was planned and it's perfect. He did an excellent job of putting this together. I'm running this file without the dust boot on to be able to see exactly what it looks like as it's cutting out and I wanted you guys to be able to see it. But in addition to that, this really creates a lot of sawdust with this quarter inch end mill bit. I'm also teaching my grandson to be able to use the open build controller to be able to control the CNC machine and again he is learning this very very quickly. As always, I'm using the glue and the tape method to be able to hold this project down. And you can see, even with a quarter inch end mill bit, that this held down exactly as it planned. Nothing slipped, nothing moved. And these cut out perfectly. And just peel off the tape off the back of these, and that's really it. Without using the tabs, there's no cleanup on that. The only thing that's going to be required is a little bit of light sanding. And this looks absolutely great. Well done to my grandson. These fit together perfectly and this will give a wide variety of different options on setting up the candles. Now I move this up four inches. I'm going to run the job again just to cut out the bottom, the base of this. Now the XY0 position was at the bottom left hand corner but because I'm running the second file now just to cut out the bases I moved the y-axis up to four inches, the x-axis stayed the same, and I'm able to run the second set of these uh, discs for the candle holder right at this location. So in essence, this is a new XY0 home position. In the file that I created at the beginning of this video, it actually has all of this done as one step. At this point, all that's needed is a little light sanding, some stain and sealer, and we're ready to put the candles into the new holders. With this very simple design, you can create all types of different settings to be able to display the candles. And by the way, he did an excellent job of sanding, staining, and presenting this new candle holder in his home. Well, there you have it. I've got another person in the family that's going to be learning the CNC machines, and I think he's going to learn it a lot faster than what I learned when I first started. He's doing fantastic, and I'm really, really proud of him. So hopefully you've learned something from this video to give you a little bit of inspiration. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification down below so you won't miss out on any of the videos because now, so I think what I'm going to do is add more of his projects as he starts developing more and more and incorporating them with mine. It should be a lot of fun to see how he grows with the CNC machines. It's exciting so far. He is really doing an outstanding job. So for now, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. So for now, bye-bye.